The first draw of the season is Aquatic Fusion Draw. In this draw, we're gonna get Pontoray Aquatic Blade, the 13th legendary operator in Call of Duty Mobile. It is also the 5th female legendary operator. From the scratch, you may think this draw is great, but the truth is it is not, and you are just being distracted by the cake. I'll talk about that and more in this before you buy video. Before you continue, make sure you go and subscribe the Data Miner Sunshine Leagues, Umer Gamer, Murder Blast, and Forester. Links are in the description. First, we're gonna start with the main reward in this lucky draw, Monterey Aquatic Korean blade. You might be wondering why does it come with a theme like this. I'll tell you why. Although we call this character Monterey, her real name is Naomi Mishishima. Monterey is an alias for the same character. Monterey also is a large fish, I mean very large, having widths of 5 meters to 7 meters, who live in deep sea. Since this Monterey and the Monterey we all know have the same name, Call of Duty Mobile probably thought of combining these two. And that is why we get a theme like this, an aquatic theme. The design is great. She does not look bulky. She has the exact same tight outfit she used to have. In addition, we do have some moving parts that are very similar to the pectoral fins of Manta Reyes. This is exactly how a female operator should look like. The outfit is also somewhat animated but I wish if it was more animated. We should talk about legendary features when we are talking about legendary operators. So this is the animation you will see when you select this character skin. Here also you can see that they are trying to sell the cake again. I mean she could have come from the other side. This camera angle could have been different. Why specifically this angle? You know why. So this is like a projector that shows holograms of a lot of fish and most of them are Manta Rays. You can also see a large whale. That's because some people are confused birds with Manta Rays because I have seen someone ask why is the hunter killer drawn a bird? Dude it's not a bird it's a Manta Ray. To be honest it is a pretty good animation. Shows that Manta Ray is a visionary. Then we move on to the second legendary feature that is the hollow watch. In this hollow watch you can see that it is made out of water. I believe this is one of the best AR kill watches I have seen in Call of Duty Mobile when it comes to legendary operators because it feels so live and it is so random. The third legendary feature is the skill set and this time what we are going to get is a score streak and that is the hunter killer drone. I'm really happy with the fact that they have added the hunter killer drone because you can use this score streak in any mod. As a search and destroy man, I'm really happy with this. If you take sentry guns, stealth choppers, VTOLs, you cannot use them all the time. I think the UAV is also a stupid idea because you are not going to see it. But the hunter killer drone, you can look at it as much as you want because you are the one who's sending it. So I'm happy with this feature. Then as the drop stands, you can see that she is doing an imaginary pistol thing and that's it. Not the greatest drop stance, but it's okay. The loot box is also all blue. Since we have the water effect that is supposed to be in the AR kill watch, I'm okay with this loot box too, but it doesn't look the best. In addition to these features, you will also get a customizable glass. I hope you guys remember Motoko from the Switchblade Lucky Draw had this feature. So when you go on the helmets, you can see glasses that you can equip or unequip based on your preference. This is the first time we're gonna see something like this for a legendary operator. And as far as I think, we should get not only the helmet slot, but also the clothing slot that will allow us to customize for a legendary operator. Because why not? It's a legendary operator, right? Maybe this is the start. You may get something huge next. When you go to a new lobby, this is what you will see. It's pretty good. I'm gonna show off your AR kill lord. This is definitely a lot better than most of the legendary operators in the game. You would get something totally different, but the thing is, you don't have a solid backstory of Monterey. Let's also take a look at the gameplay. Since the outfit is mildly animated, you really can't see any animation unless you take a really good look at it. You're gonna do it anyway, so what I like the most is that when you put on the first person view, you can see the hands. The sure looks great. When it comes to legendary operators, we expect more voice lines compared to epics. So in addition to target inside and tango down, you're gonna hear some special voice lines. But only when you get killed and when you respawn, she's gonna say this. And delight, I return. Like a tsunami, I leave nothing in my wake. And if you stay idle, we she's gonna say this. this. The human heart is go, as unfathomable as the deep sea. 
other voice lines are more or less the same as the epic manta rays because no matter the rarity it is a manta rays game so that's it about manta ray to pull this manta ray aquarium plate in your first spin there's out of 0.08 percent chance now we move on to the second best item in this lucky draw that is the macro or the sicko light sicko should have been sicko right sicko light sicko sounds better this blueprint is also aquatic themed as we can see some fins on this blueprint and since this is a pistol they kind of do a lot to make it look different so it really doesn't look that different from a pistol which is all right it also matches with monterey really well especially when it comes to the main lobby good thing is it does come with a different iron sight which is easy to use but mostly when you're using this blueprint you would use the akimbo perk so you are not going to see the iron sight often but if you are a sniper main mostly you would go with a single macro i mean in that case the iron sight will be more useful if we talk about the kill effect the kill effect looks very similar to the mythic qq9 kill effect we have the surl effect but it is not as detailed as the qq9 which is what we expect because that's a mythic and this is a secondary legendary blueprint when we go to the completionist camos and tournament camos we can equip all the completionist camos but sadly when it comes to tournament you can only equip the latest one but i will show you the others too because i think they look great and someday we may be able to use them the glacier ripple is surely the best one for it because it does have the same color scheme as of the legendary sicko or the macro and that's all about the legendary macro to pull this macro in your first spin there's out of 1.25 percent chance if you are still watching the video, please make sure you like the video and also please go and subscribe the data miners, Sunshine Leaks, Umer Gamer, Murder Blast and for Astero. Links are in the description. Let's move on to the other items in this lucky draw and I will tell you why this lucky draw is quite bad compared to a typical legendary operator lucky draw. With an order of 4% we are gonna get a Krieg 6 epic skin and if you guys remember I told you in one of my previous videos we can expect a Krieg 6 with a custom geometry and a custom iron sight in this lucky draw because that is what usually happens when it comes to legendary operator lucky draws. But this time we are just going to get a reskin with a default iron sight. How lame is this? I was really disappointed seeing this skin. Take previous lucky draws with legendary operators. We get at least one skin with a custom geometry and a custom iron sight. But this time we are not. It's so sad because Krieg 6 is a great gun and if we did get a custom iron sight for this that would be the world to some people. But they missed it. And then we're gonna get an epic FHJ called Submerged. This also has the same textures as of the Krieg 6 and I don't think anybody cares about a skin for a FHJ. This FHJ has a order of 4.5. 0.67%. Then with an order of 5.5%, we're gonna get a brand new emote called Gelatina Sagration. Here you can see a jellyfish and then a large jellyfish you're gonna crouch and shoot. That's it. It's a pretty good emote to be honest. A special one because we haven't seen an emote like this in Call of Duty Mobile ever. Then we have a spray called All Seeing. I don't see how it is relevant to this lucky draw. If you know how, let me know in the comment section. I just don't see a connection. And this has out of 6.5%. Without the 10%, we're gonna get a Muscle Kai skin. Again, similar textures as of the Creek 6 and FAJ. This would be an ideal Muscle Kai skin to be used in Battle Royale when you're playing as Mount Ray because the colors do match. Without of 11% we're gonna get a wingsuit. Look how lame these items are. These are super annoying compared to what we usually get in a legendary operator lucky draw. We should at least get an avatar for this legendary operator but here we do not. This wingsuit has out of 11%. They even added a concussion grenade in this lucky draw. Why? I don't get it. The legendary operator lucky draw is evolving backwards. That's what I see. That's out of 28% chance to pull this concussion grenade. The final item we have is a calling card called Utopia Found. Even in this calling card, there is no Monterey. I think this is disrespectful for Monterey, being one of the most loud female operators in Call of Duty Mobile. This calling card has out of 29% chance, which is the highest odd in this lucky draw. So overall, I think this lucky draw is very bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy with the Monterey ray skin and the legendary macro it's just that this lucky draw is not going to justify what we should normally see in a legendary operator lucky draw this is too basic in my opinion they are probably thinking whatever we add in this lucky draw people who want to get the mount ray skin will go for it and that is exactly what has happened here that is why this draw is very basic and very bad but that's just my opinion what do you guys think about this lucky draw and how many spins you're gonna try let me know what you think in the comment section and that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and if you found this video helpful please leave a like make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon watch my other videos and i'll see you guys in the next one